Come on, let's put a bra in your mama bag. Come on, let's put a bra in your mama bag. Come on, let's put a bra in your mama bag. Come on, let's put a bra in your mama bag. Come on, let's put a bra in your mama bag. Come on, let's put a bra in your mama bag. Come on, let's put a bra in your mama bag. Come on, let's put a bra in your mama bag. Come on, let's put a bra in your mama bag. Come on, let's put a bra in your mama bag. Come on, let's put a bra in your mama bag. Come on, let's put a bra in your mama bag. Come on, let's put a bra in your mama bag. That means she's throwing her clothes everywhere. What is that? Please go. There are things that make a marriage to be to break up. There are things that cause men to dis to <laughs> consider being outside. He only comes. He only comes to the house to sleep. And there are things that make the wife to feel that let, let just this husband come here to sleep. When you get to the house, you find the wife has put food on the table and he has gone to sleep. She's not even concerned with uh, taking what shower water to the bathroom. It's true, there are men that take three or four days to take a shower. Is it true? How do you expect such a marriage to stabilize? Praise God. If you know you are a drunkard and when you get drunk you forget yourself. Then let's leave alone. The Bible says if one hand will make you to sin, remove it so that you remain with one hand. Drunkenness is becoming a, pro, a challenge in your house. I turn up for me. Then leave. What is that if you? I turn on me. Now, pay the bills when you put your money on the mokiwa kana kuziya. It's also good to know what your wife is thinking about you. Oki kwa mokiwa kana kuziya ni utoni ya mokiwa kwa anataka kukuwe na mna gani. If you know what your wife is thinking about you, then you'll be able to know how your wife wants you to be. Mu anataka uwe mume wa aina gani. You know the kind of husband that your wife wants. The the husband wants her to put on shorts. But when she gets to the house or at home, let her put on the way the husband wants her to. Could be misleading to your marriage. If your husband loves short, if you don't put them on when you're at home, then then you'll find that one that will be able to put them on outside there. I said you should understand the taste of your husband. If she wants to be to shape Because the woman wants it that way. It's a challenge, test your Understand your husband's test. Come on, earrings and If you see he has bought you earrings, then he's speaking something. And earrings. He telling you, I want you to put on such kind of earrings. He has bought you a weave and brought it to you. Then understand that your husband wants your head to be in a specific kind. 
Anything that he does to you, he is speaking. He has brought you cutings. Let me just say, I want you to text me somewhere. He takes you to the salon and he sends you a pedicure. And he sends you a pedicure. Then, to my father, he wants you to be like that. That means he wants you to be like that. Okay? But now, what do you want to do? Yeah, yeah, 50. 56. Let's assume she's 60. You say, I'm going to be at the stage. I'm going to be at the stage. Amen. And I'm going to be at the stage. Okay, I'm going to be at the stage. I'm going to be at the stage. The husband comes and tells her, I want us to stay in my place. I know you have got to be there. Na juwa unawa wa juku. Usichukua watoto wako wa juku kwa wika makitanda ita kwa wika juku kwa wika juku. Sasa, what does he feel? You see, sometimes your mama wana kose. Okay, at times, these, our mothers have the problem. At times, you don't know what home is, what 70 years you want to ask. Right now, we are seeing even 70 year old men marry. Now, she's 56 years. Ana miaka 56. Na naambia mzee, sisi tulikuwa wazee, wacha watoto mimi tarehe na wachukua. He tells the husband, we are old, I will now be sleeping with my grandchildren. The husband asks her, what are you saying? Mzee amemchukua ameenda kupima nguo na kupima nguo fupi. The husband takes her to a to a tailor and they put the kind of dress that she is giving to the mother's husband. Wale sasa tu. Na yeye anapotoka huko anachukua chukua na weka kwa rumi yake. But when she gets up from there she take their grandchildren and put them on the bed. Mzana kuja kupumzika. But their father comes to rest. Anapata mleko wa chukua kitanda mwana. He finds her with the grandchildren. Mzana naye anza kwa mzee pasta. Mzana kusikiza rudi kwa nyumba. He starts saying. Na mzee kukupa tu dini yake ni mengilia mzee. Wale sasa tu. Hakuna kitu kimemwingilia. And because of Hiki, there's nothing wrong with the husband. She is lacking wisdom. I see that. You really have to understand your husband. Don't do things just because you want to do them. That's why you see a 70 year old man getting married again. Well, she's, uh, she's 56. And I never have seen a city. I'm the 65. The husband is 65 years. And he goes to marry. Meaning he's still right, fine. Yeah, I told him that's you see him chasing the small small <laughs> don't limit yourself to your husband <laughs> she is with you okay yes. Yes. when you are coming to 60 years so if you when you are 60 years you maintain what have you have to for 50 years so, take care of yourself if somebody looks at you, it's easy. Mama Zana, I'm going to say, hey, Dali, you're with your mother, I'm going to say, what's up? See, I'm going to say, 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 so I'm going to say, what do you see? Yes, God. Thank you. God bless you. Say, I dig me. I dig me. So, last time, Mume Ailewe Moke Wake, it's important for a, hus uh, a husband to understand her wife. Na mume ailewe mke ailewe mume wake na mume ailewe mke wake. Let the husband understand the wife and let the wife understand the husband. Elewa moyo wa mume wako. Understand your husband's heart. Elewa moyo wa mke wako. Understand your wife's heart. Bwana asifiwe. Un alafu akikisha kabla wewe ni mama kwa doa. And make sure if your mother in a marriage Remain renewed before your husband. Remain renewed before your husband. Respect your husband. Before your children. Before the guests. Before people. Praise God. 
wake 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 wake